Hi, I'm Pastor Tim Gauger of Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church, and this is your CauseCast for Monday, March 22nd, 2021. Yesterday was the fifth Sunday in Lent. It was also our last Sunday of incorporating parts of the Catechism into our worship service. Yesterday we focused on the Baptism part. I hope you've appreciated the opportunity to review some of these basic building blocks of our faith as articulated in Luther's small catechism. If you'd like to get a copy of the catechism, you can find some of them online, but there's some excellent ones produced by our church body. Just say something to us in the office and we'll point you in the right direction. The scripture lessons yesterday had to do with the difficulty in salvation. And by that I mean, yes, salvation is free, but all the scripture lessons underscored how hard it is for God to offer it for free, and then as followers of God, uh, how all demanding it is, uh, not to earn it, but maybe as it claims our lives. Uh, The the image that Jesus used to drive this all home was was that of a seed. Uh, Until a seed falls to the ground and dies, it's nothing special. But having been buried, planted, uh, it springs up to life and produces many more seeds, much more fruit. It was a picture of what he was doing. He said those words during Holy Week. He was getting ready to offer himself to die for the sins of the world and then to rise again for the salvation of the world. And you and I are some of those seeds that have been drawn to him by the death he died. That's the thing that we emphasize in all this, that Really, his glory is in his death, and that's why the Holy Spirit has gathered us around him uh, to understand that death and then uh, to be saved by it. But then in the meantime, to have this pattern of um, knowing the Father and being obedient even unto death to be played out in our lives as we die to the world and worldly influences and worldly desires and worldly patterns of living. What way are you going to die to these worldly influences today? I pray that God would give you uh, the presence and power of Jesus as well as an appreciation for how he died for you to help you uh, give him glory no matter how difficult it is. Attendance is starting to edge up ever so slightly driven primarily by more and more of us getting vaccinated. We had a couple more households again yesterday having received their doses to come back. Uh, Believe it or not, today I'm eligible for vaccine. I finally come up as eligible. Now I'm just praying that I would get notified that I could make an appointment and get a vaccine myself. That would be really helpful for the ministry here. Another thing to maybe point you to head up to is that this coming Wednesday at 6.30 is our last in our Lenten Vesper series, Overheard. I hope you've appreciated the way these interesting uh, services have made you think a little bit more about the Lord's passion and what it means for you and your salvation and your life. Finally, I would remind you that if you've been meaning to do so but haven't done so yet, it's time to make Easter service reservations. Yes, we are reserving seats for Easter, just like we did for Christmas Eve. Simply go to cosrock.org slash reservations and select your seats in the service you'd like to attend, 830, 945, and 11. I just have to tell you, though, that the first two services are filling up fast. There is room in the late service, but let's get those seats reserved because we just love to gather together as the family of God and praise him at, at the glorious triumph of his resurrection from the dead. That's it for now. I'll be back tomorrow and other days this week to give you a few thoughts on the psalm for the week, Psalm 143. But in the meantime, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen.